I mean, he's not the only one who's doing that. I mean, we have packages where Mixon's done it, Barnett's done it, and um, uh, even Phillips has done it some. So, I mean, all those guys are doing a little bit of that stuff. And, and like I said, I mean, you, you present it, whether it's in the secondary or up front, you present that LeBron James analogy that, you know, he can play the one, two, three, four, or five. Well, hey, Jonathan, if we think the weak link's the guard, you know, maybe we'll put you in a position where you can take advantage of a matchup there. Uh, if we think the weak link's the end, you know, maybe we all of a sudden we can put you and Corey on the same side or you and, and, and uh, Barnett on the same side so they can't slide a protection one way or another or something like that. Or, or, or maybe we can we get into some 3-4 stuff and different things like that. So, I mean, we're just kind of – I think this. I think I say this all the time. Everybody says, what's your scheme? The scheme is based on – it's personnel-based, not – scheme based. It's identifying what players do well and putting them in position to be successful. And Jonathan and I literally, before I came down here, were having this conversation about all the different things that he can do. And I'm not going to ask him to do 25 different things. It's going to be asked to do two or things really well in a game. And the advantage is now we can rotate guys in and out and not have a significant drop off at that position. And hopefully when it's a critical third down or it's a fourth quarter stop that we need, you know, we can, you know, we can have fresh, fresher players in the game. Bob, did you guys, when you guys go to 